guys, it is 4 o'clock in the morning, so I decided why not film a YouTube video because I am wide awake. So today is going to be story time with Abby. I had just switched schools and I did not know all the rules to the new school. So one day I really wanted some gum and I didn't have any and my friends didn't have gum. And our principal, he likes to walk around inside the classrooms and say hi to the students. He's a really cool principal. He's actually my favorite principal ever. And he uh, came up to me and I was like, hi. And then he looks at me, he smiles, he goes, no, why would I have a piece of gum? I was like, most people have gum and I really want some. And he just laughs. And then when he walks out, my friends look at me like, Why would you ask the principal that? And I was like, Because I really wanted some gum. And then my friend's like, We're not allowed to have gum in school. And I was like, Really? And she was like, Yeah, it's against the rule because kids put it underneath the desk so we're not allowed to have gum. And I was like, Whoopsie, I didn't know that. Well, I had two friends, and one of them just randomly decided to tell everyone, I'm gay. And I was like, okay, I'm straight. And then my other friend, he goes, Congratulations, man. And then I asked him, I was like, why are you congratulating him? He's like, because he's comfortable with sexuality. And I was like, I'm comfortable with my sexuality, why don't you congratulate me? And then he said, Because you're straight, that's normal. And I said, Oh, so you're calling him abnormal. And he's like, No, that's not what I meant. And I was like, Really? Because it sure sounds like that. And then he's like, <gasps> And then a couple minutes later he goes, Congratulations on being straight, by the way. And I was like, <laughs> Thank you, I'm proud of it. <laughs> Three happened at NAYC. We were walking into our hotel and someone was smoking and it smelled really bad, but I didn't see anyone smoking. So I just said, oh my goodness, it stinks out here. And then I looked up and I saw the guy right there who was smoking and I felt so bad. I was like, oh my goodness. And I turned around and my youth pastor was behind me and I told him what happened and I was laughing about it. And then right as I turned around, I walked into a door. I face planted the door. I didn't see the door, and then he, he laughs at me, which was okay, because it was funny, but yeah, I'm a klutz. Four happened at Nationals for Bible Quizzing in 2016, and this is a lesson that God taught me, as well as the next story. So what happened was, for some stupid reason, I decided to bring my tithe money to nationals with me, which was a really bad idea because I didn't need to spend it, but I brought it anyways. And they were like, buy our unashamed pin. And you know those pins like you um, pin them on a lanyard? It was um, one of those. And I also wanted to get a Bible quizzing t-shirt. And the only money I had left was my tithe money. And I was like, well, you know, tithes support the kingdom of God. And if I buy this t-shirt and this pin, So I decided to buy the t-shirt, which the girl charged me $2 too many anyways, and then I bought the clothespin. I wore it on my shirt, the little pin, and then randomly I looked down and it was gone. It had fallen off, and I looked everywhere trying to find it. I went to the house and found it, I couldn't find it, and then the t-shirt that I bought, I ended up losing it. I think I left it at the hotel. So the lesson I learned was, pay your tithes as tithes. Don't spend them on other things. I was like, oh, I'll use my tithe money. And then God was like, I don't think so. I learned to not talk about people. This was during freshman year. Um, I was talking to my friend about this girl in class. I wasn't saying anything bad about her. I was just talking about her in the conversation we had just had. And all of a sudden, I hear someone say, Abby, I can't believe you would do that. Look up, and the girl I was talking about 
was directly in front of me, walking in front of me, listening to the conversation I was having with my friend, and she went home and she told me that she went home and cried that night because she thought I was the sweetest person and then she heard me talking about her and I felt really really bad and I apologized to her and I never did it again but I felt like I ruined my witness to her. We ended up being friends after that again but I felt really bad. Don't gossip. Don't talk about other people even if it's true that does not mean it needs to be said. I hear a lot of people saying it's not gossip, it's true. Yeah, it is. Gossip is anything talking about another person when they're not with you in the conversation. So, don't gossip.